Evening everyone, I'm Nathan and here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello. And we're here to do a review and a full playthrough of Barbie Charms the World Game. Yes, so we are going to be Barbie. Ta-da! And we are going to move around the world, oh I've knocked the camera, uh, collecting some charms. You mean from Glamorous Adventures? Well that's, yes, true, we're going to collect them yeah. from Glamorous I will, Adventures. I will mention, I love the artwork and not the colour, it really pops. Does it? Yeah, it is quite bright, it stands out, doesn't it? Alright, so the reason why we have the Barbie um, is not just to say, hey, here's a Barbie. There's but a reason for it, which we'll show you. can actually use your Barbie as a moving piece instead of like the cardboard cutout ones they've got Ooh, here. Oh, yes. Uh, so there is a look at what is inside. Uh, this is from 1985. I can't quite read it over there. Uh, it is 85, correct? Yeah. So before I was born, actually. But we, for some reason, we really like the Barbie games, both of us. Yeah, um, I had uh, like the 90s. Um, Which Barbie games. should be up on this channel. They are. I think we actually have a playlist of Barbie board games if you want to check that out. If not, I should probably make one because we do have a few of them now. Alright, let me get the board out. Yeah, so this is actually quite unique. It's not one big board. Uh, there's different continents uh, that you can actually put in any order. To play yeah. the game, which is quite unique. Um, so we'll just take a look at components first because we actually need quite a bit of room to set up. Mm -hmm. You got the spinner. It spins. Yep, um, so this is something you can remove from the box. It is hard plastic. Which is a nice touch. Um, it's not particularly thick or anything. You certainly wouldn't want to step on it or anything like that. Then there's some little slots here for the cards. Then we have are these. Like this on the back. Are they travel cards or transport uh, cards? There's a particular name. Where are the instructions? Inside. So I've actually taken a picture of this box and put it in below because you obviously can't scan it because it's in the box. Uh, so these are telegrams, yes. by the way. Yep. So um, we'll get to these uh, as we go. But you get a general idea is they'll tell you to Pick it up something. and follow the directions yep. is pretty much the gist of it. They're also colour coded, so that will come into play. So how about we take this out as well? So each player gets one of these stretchy charm bracelets. Now, I believe some of them are broken in here. We did pick this up second hand. And it is, you know, over 30 years old. Yeah, so they're supposed to be sort of connected, but you get the idea. Yeah, so a couple of them are, and the idea is then you wear them, and this is where you put your charms as you collect them. And by a couple of them, you mean all but one. Oh, well, one of us will wear one, and we'll just hold on to the other one. <laughs> all right. All right, yes, you're getting out the stand. So this is the stands for either the Barbie cutouts, which we will show in a moment, or, or, what's Laura or the Barbie. Got? So it comes with these plastic pieces. Um, maybe if you have collected or had Barbies in the past, you'd be familiar with this type of stand. I know I had a couple. My favourite Barbies were in when I was a kid, and Cause, they because Barbies were generally on display. aren't designed to stand up by themselves. Unfortunately, not. So this Barbie came out of the advent calendar um, a couple of years ago, last year, the year before, that we opened over on our photo review channel. That's linked down below if you want to check. Well, how about I start taking that out, out the cutouts because I'll be playing as a cutout. Well, we will actually both play as a cutout. But we'll just um, maybe show. There, yeah. There's a reason for that. So her legs click in either side and then you can stand her up like that. So no Barbie dolls came with the game. No. It's just if you had them yourself. You've got, uh, these are based on real dolls. Yes, too. they are. Day to night Barbie doll. Mm -hmm. These are double sided as well. So it doesn't matter which way you're looking at it. Dream Glow Barbie doll. Mm -hmm. My first Barbie doll. Not yours, personally. <laughs> Magic Moves Barbie doll. Mm. Yeah, so these are ones you could actually get back when this game came out. Um, they're quite a thick cardboard, yeah. but they are cardboard. So um, I think the bottom of one in particular has like a little yeah tear. So you do have to be careful. Um, so you slot those into these if you're not playing with real... Barbies. Now, the reason why we're actually going to play with the cardboard cutouts, can you get yeah. back? Sorry. Um, they're quite a bit smaller, and the board isn't huge after you set it up. No. So, having something that's a bit larger and more prone to being knocked over actually makes it kind it's of It's a awkward. bit un unwieldy. Yes. Uh, so, we'll just sit that back there for the moment, but we will both pick one of these in a minute. And here are the charms of the world. See, there is four colours. Yes. One for each continent that Barbie visits. Yes, uh, so they are colour coded, so say if you took all of, let me just find, all of the red ones. Do you want to bring out the continent uh, there? I think the red ones are... Is in North America by the looks of it. The Americas. There you go. Um, so they each have 
something in them that you would find in on that, that particular continent, continent yeah. which is we didn't actually notice. We played it. Oh, yeah, I mean, cool. I noticed. I don't know what you were looking at. <laughs> um, so these are not the same on both sides either. So the Statue of Liberty here, you can see her face on one side and the back of her head on the other side. So you don't see just the same. Oh, gosh, they're going everywhere. Um, you don't see the same image on both sides. These are plastic as well, although obviously they're made to look like metal. Now, the loops on these hook. Just a little clasp. Just a little clasp on the bracelet. We're not probably going to be clasping them on until right at the end because uh, you can earn them and lose them very quickly. And it kind of gets a pain going with them. You'll, you'll see why. Yeah. So there are the colours. There's four of each. We'll show you those up close as we're setting up. So let's move these out of the way to show the board parts and then we'll show you the other charm. Right. So let me just uh, set up the board. Alright, so we might have to change the camera when we get this sorted. So we have our Americas there. Well, these are a little awkward as well. So that's what you get in the middle and it's kind of meant to fold down each side. Uh, these aren't particularly thick cardboard, the little flaps. Mm -mm. So definitely something to watch well, out for. Well, I'm actually surprised. So I brought this second hand. I'm actually surprised the condition that's in is, is quite good. Yeah. Now, as you're setting that up, actually, each of these different continent boards starts with a welcome and spin again airport and ends with a goodbye fly to the next airport. There's slots there to put all of the ch <laughs> all of the charms. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, my great. words are, are not working. Uh, and then we have four spaces on each. I believe they're the same, but in a different order on each of them. Correct. So we have telegram. Pick up a card. Pick up one of the telegrams we showed earlier. Give means you have to give one of your own charms to somebody else. Correct. Exchange means we would swap. And I, I, if I land on it and I go, I want to swap this one for this one, you have to take the swap. Yes. Yeah, so whoever lands on it gets to, to call the shots. And charm means you can take one of these charms here. Another important thing, you can have more than one of the same colour charm. Yes, yeah, so you only have a certain amount of little clasps on the bracelet. So there's five, I think. Yep. Uh, to win, you have to collect one from each of the four continents that are represented in the game. But obviously, you do have room to have duplicates. <gasps> Which is good for exchanging and trading. But that could hinder you as well because you can end up with like two of one, two of another one and then not have room for all of yes, them. Yes, because you can't, I think, go more than what your charm bracelet can hold. Exactly. Uh, so the next continent we have here is Europe. Jeez. I love the images on all of these, by the way. They're so like um, <laughs> of the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, the back then shows you where in the world it is and then how. I think my favourite part is when they take pictures of the real Barbie dolls as like part the of games. the design. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Um, so presumably that was a doll who, you know, was perhaps a European sort of one. I didn't show, hang on, the back. The Americas. So the two um, different continents there have been sandwiched together. No, it's the same one. It must be like a travel, yeah. travel Barbie or something. And look, she's charming Africa now. She sure is on her pink bicycle. Boy, I don't think she should <laughs> get that close to a lion, but okay. So yep, yeah. Yep. Back. Yes, it's the same Barbie on each of them. And the fourth one is the green, which is Asia. With the lovely little pandas. And of course, the continent of Asia. Yep. Okay, so... How about we try and set this up so people can actually see us play? I think that's a good idea. All right. <laughs> We've tried to set it up as best we can. Um, you're missing just a couple of spaces on each end. It's kind of a tricky one to it, It's to a fit. very, yeah, not rather standard board. You need quite a bit of space for this. Yes. Uh, so we put the America's charms in their little slots here, but we thought we'd just quickly show you the other ones. So blue is for Europe. Looks like a gondola or something. Yep, we have a windmill there. We have some sort of, isn't that one of the palace guards or something? Yeah. All right, and so there's five of each. I can't remember. We have the that. Eiffel Tower. Yep, and the last one for Europe. Isn't this the Colosseum? Uh, yeah. All right, so then green is for Asia. One of their Boats. I'm sure it's got a proper name. I just can't remember. I, I know what I'm talking about. We have panda. A panda. We have oops, Taj, Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal. I just want to focus. It's There's too, a Taj Mahal there. Trust it's me. It's too grand. I'm sure this is something specific. I'm not familiar with an exact. And it's name. the Great Wall of Sydney. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> China. China. Yeah. Uh, and then the gold ones actually go with Africa, even though on the cardboard it's themed yellow. So we have pyramid. Okay, then we have 
Lion. Lion. Looks like it's a lion from Lion King, this, the, the musical. Uh, maybe. Um, the, tree of, the Tree heart. of Life. I say maybe. I don't know why I say maybe. It's definitely not. <laughs> Elephant. I can't reach to put those charms on though. And a giraffe horse. Just a giraffe, I think, there. All right, so we've shuffled our telegrams. They're sitting here in the little tray, so we'll have our discard pile on this side. Uh, we're going to use the broken bracelet, see so we can see them. Whoa, Nathan. Uh, we're going to use the broken bracelet so we can sit them on camera for you. I'm going to be playing as day tonight, Barbie. Okay. And I'm magic moves. Why not? All right, the, so... The play goes basically from left to right. So once you, yes. you go from the left and you go all the way to um, goodbye, fly the next airport, you then go to arrive at the next airport and the connecting yes. continent. Now there's actually a space under here, so we're going to have to just pull that one out same with on that corner so we don't want to skip any spaces by mistake all right shall we um spin to see who goes first three two you can go first oh right. now, you start on your charm space and get a charm based on your color yes two. so nathan is pink so he's starting at welcome over here for the americas so you can take one of those charms i'm getting a palm tree because palm trees are cool okay i'm going to start here because i have the green one in asia and i'll take the taj mahal all right spin so again we're not going to connect them because we will be probably rearranging them quite a bit so all right we've each got one come on barbie uh, let's go party yeah that's right i got a three didn't i okay four. Four. nathan's just going to move me because i can't two, reach three. exchange okay so no choices here we have to exchange the ones we have all right, one, could you please move me to Telegram? Yeah, sorry if this is confusing. We'll try and mention who it is. So this is Nathan's <gasps> turn. Fly to anywhere. Dear Barbie, you've won the world uh, sweepstakes charm. So this means I can fly to any continent and land on the charm space of said continent. Yes, other cards in there will tell you a specific space that's not a charm as well. So you just have to follow the instructions of whichever right, one. I'm going to fly to Africa because Barbie oh. likes elephants. Okay. So, so Nathan moves straight to the charm space. I get my charm. Alright. Three. Three. So Nathan is just One, moving me because I two. can't reach. You can't land on someone in the same space. You no. have to go a space ahead. So you land on exchange. <laughs> exchange. Well, um, how about you take your palm mm -hmm. tree back and I'll have my Taj Mahal back. Why not? Thank you. Four. Four. Alright, so Nathan's One, moving himself two, this time. Three. Fly the next airport. Dun, 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 dun. So it goes in a circle. Yep, so when you reach that end, you come back to the start, which is unfortunately just off camera there. Okay. Alrighty, two. two. So that's my turn. Telegram. Fly to Africa. Dear Barbie, we need your top design talents to be head judge at our annual sculpture exhibit, Charm. So I'm actually already in Africa. I just need dun, to dun, move dun, to dun, the dun, charm dun, dun. space. And you get a charm. Which one do you like? Uh, the pyramid, please. You do like Egypt-related things, yes, don't you? Yes, I've got the pyramid. All right. Spin two, please. All right, so I'm moving for Nathan. He's got give. So right. he has to give one charm to me. Now, gonna... Oh, I was going to say, <clears> if there were other players, obviously you can play with up to four. Yep, I think it is. There's four. There's four different um, pieces. Um, you can then choose who you give them to. If someone has a full charm bracelet, you cannot give one to them. So I'm going to give you this one, because if I give you the red one, you'll have three out of the four. Ah, and that ain't no good. Strategy. So oh. it doesn't actually help me since I already have one from Africa. Two. Oh, so it went fast. This is my move. Give. Thank you. Oh, well, I'll have that one back. May as well you. just give it back. Yeah. <laughs> you can see why we haven't hooked it onto the bracelet, right? Yeah, they change quite Could a lot. Could you move me three, please? Right, so I'm moving for Nathan. I'm at the airport, so now. Yes, yeah, so this, this would be the goodbye at the yes. airport position. And now I've arrived at Europe, um, immediately on a gondola with Ken. But Ken's nowhere else apart from Europe. Oh, yeah, he doesn't appear on the other one. <laughs> well, Barbie doesn't always have to travel with Ken. Sorry, Kenneth travels in style. He goes by gondola everywhere. Okay. Did you three? Uh, three. So one, one two, two, and then I'll fly myself over here, and I'm on welcome. Now that's actually a spin again space. We should mention. Yeah. So you... when you land on it by exact count, not if you're moved to it off a goodbye space. No. Okay. So I get to spin again with a three. One, two, three. I'm going to exchange. So I mean. Let's just go gold and you got, you got my yokai changes. medallion. It's not going to make much difference, is it? One. I'm on exchange. This is Nathan's move. I want my elephant back, please. Okay. One. One. Charm. Okay, great. I don't have one from the Americas yet, so I'll take the Statue of Liberty, hey? Huh? Alright, so I don't actually need one more is from Europe. One or a spin again, I can't Ooh, see. Oh, you're on the line. Four. 
One, two, three, four. I'm on the spin again. So actually you landed on goodbye. I landed on goodbye and then I went across to Asia. Yes, Nathan didn't just count wrong then. Give. Well, you didn't, no, you landed on this, so you just move there. You don't get to spin again. Oh, but that's I, not where you landed, but remember? But I want to spin again. <laughs> so you only get to spin again when you land directly on one. Not if you've landed on goodbye and move there, all right? Okay. <laughs> just in case Nathan's trying to confuse everybody. I'm confusing myself. All right, four. One, two, three. Telegram. Fly to anywhere. Oh, doesn't want to But focus. you have to land on an exchange space yes, instead so, of a charm. Yes, dear Barbie, please come as soon as possible to sign a contract on your exercise book exchange. So there's the symbol for the exchange space. I know where you would go. Uh, so I'm only missing a blue one here from Europe. So I'm just going to move back to that exchange space. And do you want a red or a, uh, or a well, gold? Yeah, let, let's exchange the red. You Nathan doesn't have any colours that I need. And Nathan, yours aren't quite on camera. <laughs> four. One, two, three, four. Exchange. Get my palm tree back. Thank you. So we don't really have anything that's useful to each other. We kind of have two of the same colours. and You really need to have... This is one that's definitely better to play with more people. Yes, there's more strategy with who you swap with if there's someone else. Oh, did you get a two? two? One, two. And guess what? Barbie. I got a charm. So, I win. I've got one, two, three, four different colored charms from the four different continents. Now, we've actually played this uh, a couple of times off camera and uh, it took a lot longer. This has actually been our shortest game, I think. We kind yeah. of went backwards and forwards a lot. Uh, as you, you saw in the previous sort of 10, 15 minutes, there was a lot of exchanging and back and forth. And that can go on for an abnormally long time if you get unlucky. Yes, again, I suppose it'd be a little bit quicker if you did have more players, even though there's more time for them like, each moving. But there's more options when I go exchange. I can exchange one of mine for an actual colour I need rather than just back and forth. Exactly, yeah. So I really like this. I think it's pretty unique. Um, it's different to the other Barbie games from like my childhood anyway, from the 90s. And There's a lot more effort put into the pieces and the look of it. Th well, than some other yes, than some more other modern ones. games, yes. And I like the addition that you can use, your, you know, your favourite actual Barbie doll Or you can well. pretend she's like Godzilla size and crushing all the continents because she's like way bigger than them. Sure. If you wanted to. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below what your favourite Barbie board game is. Or maybe you've never played any of them. And that's fine too. There's actually a lot of Barbie games that we haven't played that we didn't even know existed. Yes. We'd love to track them down. But, <laughs> you know, but we've got a whole bunch up on the channel already anyway. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.